we're having the worst luck with this Airbnb completely. I didn't even know, but we having the worst luck. The first day we arrived, Mon B broke the vase. Last night, in the middle of the night, it was like at two in the morning, I heard a big bang. But I came out here to look and I didn't see it. So I just thought it was maybe the neighbors. Dre just noticed it now. And it was one of the picture frames fell down. But now they're going to think we did it. Because Moby broke the vase the first time. But we did it. We just arrived. And already this little girl went and broke a vase. Look at that. Look at that. Already. Shaking my head. That's the corporate right there. The first time out of seven months traveling, we have never broken anything in anybody's spot until today, until here. Apparently, I didn't realize there's two picture frames. One here and one here, and Dre just noticed it's all over the ground. It's dirty. We're the first ones. I don't want to be that person. Okay, so what happened real quick? Huh? <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. They had a picture. Did you ever tell them about that? Uh-uh. It was a picture that had fell down. I guess fell down last night. Right here. I, I don't know. I wasn't. You should be telling the story with that. I was asleep. Okay, last night I heard something bang and I didn't know what it was that banged. And we found out the next day when we came home and we saw glass all over. But we were like so nervous to tell the man that mommy broke the vase, especially to find out. We officially found out we were the very first guests. This man drove an hour away, got here like 8 p.m brought us a gift basket and some wine. And he was like, he's sorry. He feels bad, we feel bad. We just like, but these people are just, they're so kind. Okay. And Dre over here just like, I guess with a click, click. I mean, because it's like, just it looks bad. Like for your person, I don't know. I mean, I don't like this one, kid, man. Get out of there. <clears throat> Dre's trying to leave it like s s spot clean. So anyway, um, the Airbnb host had came over and we told him about the little vase that Mumby had broke. And he was pretty much just like, oh, it's no problem, it's okay. You know, those things can, those things happen. You know, very, very nice guy about it. Came in, clean, cleaned up whatever was left. But in the process of when he came, they brought us this. <laughs> this man. They a nice fruit basket. Like this thing is full of fruits. It is packed. Like full of fruits. But I guess because like we're the first ones to be in this Airbnb, uh -huh. which is pretty cool. And um, he was such a nice guy. Um, put the put the screws in to reinforce the other. Even in the other rooms too. Rooms. Started vacuuming the other rooms too. Vacuumed everything. Like, Just in case glass get up here. Well, she is, is, he, he did right. Yeah. You know, he did right. You know. But um, it's really really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Really nice. So, I did not expect the fruit basket and the wine. I did not. Yeah, and I expected him to be like. Because we told him we were going to pay for it because we yeah, felt very bad. Yeah. But he was like, no, don't worry about it. But we felt like, yeah. oh my gosh, you're being extra kind. And we, because like, Dre was like, they're going to think we broke it on purpose. Yeah, because I was like. <laughs> the vase already the, broke. The vase, cool. We, we did break that. But the picture, I don't know. How, they, they was hanging up there about like some little sticky hooks. And I guess in the middle of the night, it fell down. For Mommy, tell this child to go to sleep. Beast. I'm dancing a little bit because usually Mombi does not like to go to sleep until somebody goes to sleep. And she went to sleep early. So 
with the wine, the fruits. We have some leftover meat from when we went out yesterday. And we bought some face masks. We're gonna have a Mother Andre relaxation, chill night time. I'm excited. Light the candle, sir. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever like had a fruit basket that was so pretty you didn't even want to open it? Like somebody put in a lot of work to do the ribbons and everything, and I'm like, I don't even want to open it, you know? But it's only one way to get the fruit out, and that's the opening. I guess I could just cut it in that way. It still looks pretty. Yeah, right. I don't, I don't know. I've never I've never had a fruit basket. Yeah, I haven't known. So I think I'm gonna just. Please tell us how to properly open up a gift basket, right? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna just make a hole so I could just like pull what I, what I need out without having to open the whole thing. Perfect. See? Well, actually, the first place that we had the guava fruit at was in Sri Lanka. That was our favorite. That was our favorite. And like, ever since we went over there, like all the other countries we've been to, we've been trying to get like a guava. We always get a guava drink somewhere, but it never compares to theirs over there. I know. It was it was guava and strawberry together. Yeah, it was a, it was a drink. Yeah. Those two mixed together, it was it was like a hot pink drink. Oh, I think it's in the video. Is it in one of the videos? It is. I'm going to have to put it in here so you guys can see how it looked like amazing drink that we still think about to this day I to this know. day <laughs> that's been a hard one for us to find okay i'll get the dress ready would you do this one or the bigger one no just do the small ones <laughs> Get the glass, <laughs> sniff it, and then what do you say you would do after that? Oh, sip it. Mm. <clears throat> it's like a light dry, but not super dry. It's like drinkable. It's drinkable. Actually, it's not bad. It's actually like pretty good. It's good to me. It's, it's something that I'm not used to. Not like, <clears throat> it's not hardcore dry, but... I can do <clears throat> that every day. <laughs> <laughs> And then after, we get to do face masks. <laughs> We've been watching some show on Netflix called uh, Keep, Keep Breathing. Breathing. It's so good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It just started. I'm normally, I'm really not a big TV person, but whenever I find something like this that kind of keeps me like zoned in, I kind of get stuck on it. So we're going to be watching this tonight too. So if you guys looking for something to watch on Netflix, check this one out. Keep Breathing. And we just happy because mo we never get to do this. Yeah. Ever. Never. Ever. Night. Never. <laughs> I don't even want to jinx ourselves. We need to hurry up and just get the 
Moving <laughs> along. She wakes up. Yes. It happened one time, and we're gonna enjoy this and savor this, okay? Mm. So we're gonna say bye to you. But so she doesn't wake up in like two seconds, realizing we're not there with her. Mm. <laughs> Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna enjoy the rest of this face mask. Good night. Have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she gave me to put this thing in my face, but I do it all the time. But we're gonna go back watching our movie. <laughs> so we cute. Huh? So we cute. It's the mask. It's making my face so tight. <laughs> Mm-hmm.